Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Hire My VA team and business building podcast, where we help you to reclaim your freedom through hiring and thriving with virtual assistants without breaking the bank, without breaking your bank. And again, as normal, I've got my partner, co-host, crazy dude, Larry Broughton here with me, and I am Dave Braun. We're here to answer another fantastic question that you guys have been asking. That's How right. you doing, Larry? Awesome, David. How are yeah, you, sir? I'm nice haircut. Fit. I'm doing great. Yeah. Oh man. It felt so good to get one. <laughs> you were looking moppy. Yeah. I, yeah, I was. I think I lost a couple of pounds here. <laughs> that's the, that's the diet secret of the week. <laughs> oh, I see. You look Shave great. Head. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good to see you, my friend. Thank you for, yeah, uh, you too. for, for leaving this effort okay. today. You're welcome. All right. What's our question? Great question. You ready? Sure. Bring it. All right. This came from one of our tribe. They asked, how do I specify in my job specification that I'm looking for someone who has, quote, the same voice, oh. end quote, as I right. do? I think right? I know so, who this came from. <laughs> yeah. So the same voice. So they yeah. want somebody to replicate their voice. So this is probably somebody who's, who's either going to be doing ghostwriting or social media posts, those types of things. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming here, right? Can yeah. I tweak this question just a little bit? Is that that is that okay? No. I think with the, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> never mind. Um, what I encourage people to do is when you're trying to do these postings for your virtual assistants is to consider posting not necessarily a job description, but what we call a position profile. Job descriptions are oftentimes worded broadly. Position profiles are much more detailed on what are the skills, the specific skills yeah. that you need, um, the achievements um, that they've had in the past, what your expectations are uh, for, the, for this person and how they're going to fit into the organization. It's not just a list of things. And so it's a little bit semantics, but we do go through this with you in the program. Um, but this is a really good question, Dave, because it's mm -hmm. not like so easy, like I'm going to sit down and I'm having somebody follow a specific yeah. recipe on how to bake cookies, right? Um, so I think it's a, it's a great question and you and I have talked about this before because it is a recurring question. And so, um, but you know, there's probably a four or five different things that we, we can do, uh, on this, but I do agree, Dave, that it's an important question because if you're hiring a VA and they're in many ways going to be the voice behind your face, that's meeting the public, it is so important right? So, you know me, I'm pretty colloquial, but pretty casual, high energy oftentimes. But if I were to hire someone who's going to start writing social media posts for me, and they're very scientific in their approach, and they're very exacting, um, and they're kind of have this monotonous tone, uh -huh. that is not going to come across at all, right? So mm -hmm. one of the things I would really encourage you to do when you're, when you're uh, posting your position profile, the first thing is make sure that there's some place where these applicants can go to hear your quote unquote, hear your voice. So right. with me, it's pretty easy because I'd list a bunch of YouTube videos. I would list a bunch of, in, you know, TV shows that I've been on where I've actually talked mm -hmm. because you'll notice my dog just ran in. Hello, Bodie. Um, <laughs> you'll notice that we all have different mannerisms, cadences, words, uh, that, that we use over and over again, right? Like I'm kind of a California guy. I say awesome a lot. I say, you know, um, I do totally say dude. dude. <laughs> I, do, I do say <laughs> dude once in a while. And I get pretty casual, right? Um, I oftentimes say this, you know, go get them or I use the word significant a lot or intentionality a lot. So we do, we, when we're talking about what our, what we're passionate about or what it is that we're doing of our job, there are certain colloquialisms um, ling linguistically, there are uh, patterns that we all use and see if the applicant can, can kind of pick up on that. Right. Exactly. Um, so I would, I would include that. So it's much easier with video. Mm -hmm. um, but if there have been writings that you've done in the past articles, posts on social media, whatever, then it's easier. Now, if you're brand new to this and you don't have a lot of this out there, that's gonna be much more difficult, Dave. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to you're going to have to do. I think one of the things that you and I talked about before in this is be very specific and describe what your voice is. Mm -hmm. Is it energetic? Right. Is it serious? Right. Um, is it scientific? Um, you're going to have to get very, very specific. If, you, if there's not a place that you can point a candidate to, to say, hey, go listen, go read, go watch. Then you have to get very specific about listing what, what it is 
and it's probably gonna be a little bit of a longer process. Yeah, for sure. What say, what say you, David? Well, I, you know, you had a great point. We didn't talk about this in our um, pre-show meeting, but if somebody doesn't have a lot of stuff out there, I wonder they may they may have a certain voice now, but it may change over mm. time, right? For sure. For sure. I think that especially people- if, yeah, if you're, if you don't have anything out there, it's going to change probably pretty quickly. So it may not be the right thing for you to do to find somebody to duplicate your voice until you've kind of almost found it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, the more people get out there, whether it's in writing or on video, the more casual people tend to get, they get more comfortable when you first okay. start I was going to say, I lost, we lost you there for a sec. What was the last sentence you said? I have no idea. You know me. When I, <laughs> once it's out, it's gone. It's I don't know because I can't out, lip read. Out of the ethers. <laughs> I, I may have said something about that. The more you write, the more you post, the more you do a video, the more comfortable you become, the more casual we oftentimes uh, be, become. Yeah. And so uh, I think that's a really good point, Dave, that if you if this is brand new to you, you may have to have like a writing partner, mm. right? Um, who's going to help you find find your voice. But I understand if it's the person I think is who submitted this question, um, they're kind of in the um, spiritual space. Yeah, not spiritual space. What What's the word I'm looking for? Um, anyway, if you're, uh, this is not the person I don't think, but let's say that you are a Christian, right? There are certain terms that you're going to use in your writing versus someone who's an atheist and never even been exposed Right, the, the kind of language, uh, language, right? Mm-hmm. And so you, you're just gonna you're gonna have to find it. But I think it's really important that you describe your voice, what you what you're trying to get across, and if there is um, a place to point people, certainly have them go there. Yeah. What else uh, should we? Well, what I other think, tips can we give? And I think another great tip would be is, and every business should have something close to this is some kind of a, you know, a client avatar that they've developed. Oh, for sure. Because we as entrepreneurs, we should be speaking to or Mm -hmm. um, in the language that our ideal client avatar can understand, right? Because it could be very different if you are, if you're writing a blog post, I mean, if you're writing it, you're a professor and you're writing Mm -hmm. a blog post, well, you may need to be college level writing but if it's you know like for us hire my va it's maybe fifth or sixth grade level that's very very different so yeah. giving them your um, avatar of who you're actually trying to reach would also help yeah good point yeah good point. and then and then the other thing is i think it's going to be important when you're screening for candidates and the question is more along the lines of you know your job description or pres- position profile have you said but you're going to have to make sure when you screen candidates that you're going to, you're going to really need to get some good samples from them. Right. And mm-hmm. you're going to yeah. have to, you're going to have to ask specifically, Hey, I want a, a video. I want you to do, um, you know, something written, or I want you to do an Instagram post in my voice or whatever you think is going to be my voice. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I, again, the key is here. Give them every, Point them to as many directions as you can, whether it's social media yeah. posts that you've done before or articles of before, but uh, yeah, have them give them a little writing assignment or a video assignment or a script assignment, whatever it is, on get as close as, as possible as you can. I would encourage you, though, don't have them do a job. Yeah. Like if you need a script written for a video, don't have them write the entire script for the video. That's not fair Yeah. Uh, to, to them to have somebody do your job and you're not paying them. Or, oh yeah, abs- right. yeah, absolutely. You should pay for them. If you're going to, if you're going to ask for a significant amount of work, you know, like if they're going to have to take a whole hour or something, then yeah, yeah. you need to pay for it or even a couple of days. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, the other thing is it, it may be something that would help you describe your voice. If you asked a couple of people sure. that consume your content, how they would describe your voice. Yeah. And by the way, we're not talking about, right? we're not talking about, is my voice high pitched or is it deep? Is it baritone? Do I have an <laughs> yeah. accent? That's not what we're talking about here. Right, Dave? Yeah, we're exactly. talking. To, okay, good. Yeah. Like the characteristics. Cause you yes. know, Larry, somebody else may say your voice is this, but you may think it's that. Mm. And um, so I think it could help if you would ask a couple of people that 
have followed your content or that you're yeah. familiar with you, what they think your, your voice is really like, how would they describe it? And as, like you said, is it calm? Is it deliberative? Is it energetic? Is mm -hmm. it excitable? Is, you know, whatever that, whatever that is. Yeah. C cadence is one of those things that you can capture for sure. Like I'm mm -hmm. a, I'm a quick, yeah. I speak quickly and people have told me like when I do, when I write articles or even the victory book, people said, I can hear your voice as I'm reading, as I'm reading this, yeah, you know, and we were very intentional when we put that together to make it sound that way. Right. So, yeah, and that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So we've got some good tips for you about how to help duplicate your duplicate, how to um, <laughs> find somebody that's going to um, actually duplicate or um, mimic your voice in a certain way, but make sure, of course, you follow these tips that we gave you. And then I think the final thing that we want to mention is, it will probably, even when you hire somebody, it's going to take a little bit of time for tweaking and tuning. Yes. You're going to have to work closely with them to go back and forth. And then I think that that will pay off over time because I know you've had a lot of experience with that. Too. Well, I have, you know, um, when I was really on social media a few years ago um, and we were posting several times a day, I had hired a social media uh, company. And in the beginning, I was like, I was looking at every single post and rewriting and it was a real commitment, mm -hmm. right? And then over time, it got easier. All I would say is, hey, here's the topic of what I want the post to be and let's match the image. And they got very, very good uh, mm -hmm. at it, but it took a commitment. And I would also encourage you is um, if you're not willing to invest time into in it, just do it yourself. I mean, it's good. It's like anything. When you're hiring somebody, you've got to invest time in getting them up to speed, right? Mm -hmm. But if they're not working, cut them loose and try somebody else. Right. Don't complain. This is one of the hardest things. Like I said, this is not like you're trying to find somebody to come in and do math. Correct. Or do yeah. or do yeah. or do accounting, which is very black and white. This is really in the art side of the of the hiring and not the science uh -huh. side right. of it. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So don't get frustrated if the first couple of people don't get it. And then when you do find somebody, you better be doing everything that you can. That's part of this program and the thrive. How do you keep them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Yes. Because if you find someone and they're amazing and you treat them like dirt and you don't show respect to them and you don't pay them appropriately, um, they're going to go someplace mm -hmm. else. Right. And this is why, frankly, good ghostwriters make so much money. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you'd be surprised. Like, I know, I know the guy who wrote um, one of Hillary Clinton's books. There's a guy who wrote Hillary Clinton's, one of Hillary okay. Clinton's books. Yeah. Okay. I know the guy who wrote one of Colin Powell's books. They spend a lot of time with this, with these people. Okay. And they interview a lot of people and they read a lot of their writings and watch a lot of their videos. Right. It's a full time. I mean, it's a, it's an important task to capture someone's voice so um when you find someone who does capture to get close to it then um then, then treat them well but don't expect you're going to find somebody right out of the gate that's going to get it 100 mm -hmm. crying out loud if you find somebody who gets 50 percent of the way there and you just kind of help them get it across the finish line or if they can get to 80 percent and you just tweak it by adding replacing a word for one of the words you usually use that's awesome yeah. I mean, just awesome. that would save you a ton of time. Oh, for sure. I did produce twice as much content or it help you to use that time for something else. And just remember better done than perfect. <laughs> yeah. Better done than perfect. At least you're getting your content out there. Yeah. 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 Awesome. All right. Well, any other final words or do you think we got it covered? I think we've probably beaten this one to death, but don't forget that one of the <laughs> best parts elements of this program is going to the community forum that we've got. This is a question you can, you know, pose to all the other folks that are going through this or have been through this, this program and ask yeah. them the same question. And we can go back and forth. And we've got our, our calls that we do that people can jump on and we can kind of beat this thing and get a little bit more specific about what it is that uh, you're working on and why things are succeeding and some things you're still struggling with. Yeah. It's yeah. very important. Absolutely. And our Q and a sessions are like you said, are really great for these kind of things. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, everybody, we're going to put a bow on this and uh, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks uh, for joining us. And remember, building a team is the way to reclaim your freedom. We are here to help you to do that.
So three things we'd love for you to do right now. And we'd really, really appreciate it. Number one, subscribe to this podcast. If you haven't already done so number two, give us a rating. Obviously we want five stars, but do what you, you want to do. And then uh, the third thing is go to hiremyva.com for more information on our course and community. Because remember, even without experience, you'll learn how to prepare for hire and thrive. As Larry was talking about how important that is. You'll learn how to thrive with virtual assistants. Larry and I have helped folks like crazy. Yeah. We're helping folks now in our community. We'd love to help you too. So just go to hiremeva.com for more information. That's right. Hey, do yourself a favor. Do the world a favor. Go do something significant today. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. Now go get them. All right. Bye, everybody. Right. Bye. I'll see you.